morning! Welcome back to our chicken house. Uh, we are gonna start off by doing insulation today. So this is the first job we have to do. We're building up the walls to make this insulated and also from the wind because currently it has a lot of open space for the wind to come in and those are all gonna get sealed up. So yeah, let's get started with the insulation. Let's get straight to work. We have figured out the method the best works for this. So we put woods all, all, all across here to, to close up this gap first of all for the OSB and also for the insulation not to fall down. Still gonna leave a gap of ventilation for the roof, for the beams and stuff to ventilate and we have done this all the way through. And then we're lowering down the OSB, we cut the OSB and the uh, second OSB we just shape it by this one because these beams, they're warped, they're not straight. This is not perfect material we're working with so we have to adapt and uh, get it perfect ourselves. So yeah, now we have to stuff in the insulation and close up the second side and this one is done out of eight. So yeah, after that, eight more to go. And uh, yeah, hopefully it doesn't take all day. Yeah, the hardest part was figuring it all out how we wanna do it, but I yeah. think now we should be able to do it fast. Should Once be. we got into it. Okay. Let's get the insulation going. Yeah. Hopefully that goes fast. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So one side is all done, as you can see, it was a huge mess because the wood that we're working with, not the OSB, but the beams that we have done, they are not straight. They were, you know, from when we got them, they were all sideways, all warped. So yeah, but it is, of course, you know, we're working what we have, so we did make it. We still have to close those little gaps with some little woodies, hopefully we have enough of those. So let's get on the other side, we need to cut the woods for the bottoms, put those on and then start doing the insulation and OSB. It's quite a mess, but it's already getting warmer in here. I think we went from like minus five, now we have plus three degrees, so that's an improvement. And, and we have both doors open, like. Yeah, both doors are open, and that side is still open, so probably makes a lot of difference. And it's taking away a bit of the echo, I think, as well. So, let's get started. Hopefully we're gonna finish it today, fingers crossed. Hopefully. We're gonna go work fast. So we are done, well, with the ceiling. As you can see, it's all insulated and nice. Now we actually still have one more job to do, is to close all that line up. It's not the straightest, but it needs to be all sealed perfectly. Same on the bottoms as well, seal it up. And then we are done with the ceiling. It is perfectly done. And then we'll see about the walls. We'll have to see, because we used up everything. That's all that we have left, is some little pieces. I thought it's gonna last a lot more. I thought we we're gonna do ceiling walls, no problem. But this place is a lot bigger than it looks. It's a proper tiny home. So yeah, let's see you tomorrow.